Hi there, I'm Andrew Frazier, founder of Doggy Zone, and today I'm here with Alex, one of our dog training experts, and we're here to talk to you about puppies because we know there, there are a lot of puppies in people's homes right now, especially after holiday season. And one of the fun facts that I learned about not too long ago was that there is over a million puppies born each day. In fact, it's actually closer to around three times the amount of human babies that are born each day. So I thought to myself, wow, million plus puppies a day. That's over 365 million puppies a year. It's a quarter of a billion puppies. That's a lot of puppies, Alex. It's pretty crazy, I did not know that either. <laughs> pretty wild stuff. So Alex, um, let's, let's talk with uh, our clients and fans a little bit about what should you do before you get the puppy? And we're just going to assume that you're buying the puppy was a logical decision where you planned and advanced and it wasn't an emotional decision where you bought a puppy off the side of the road with no plan. But either way, uh, let's talk about a proactive approach to getting started with a puppy. What should we do? How do we uh, make sure we get off on the right foot at home? Definitely, so I think that's great because a lot of people don't think about what they need before they pick up their puppy. A lot of people, they grab their puppy they get their puppy home and they go, oh shoot, I forgot a water bowl, I forgot a crate, I forgot some bedding for my dog. So I think it's super important. There's some key things that you wanna get before you even bring the puppy into the house. Um, biggest things, leash and collar. You wanna make sure you have a way to transport the puppy around, take them out when you need to. Um, of course, you want water bowls, food, um, treats. I always recommend bringing treats when you go to pick up the puppy as well. You don't know if the puppy's gonna be a little unsure about you. so. All of those things are super important before you bring the puppy uh, home, as well as like having a space for your puppy inside the house. So I like to say kind of puppy proofing um, your house for that initial, you know, bringing the puppy in. Um, something that I always recommend is take up the, the carpets around the house. I know when I first got my puppy, I didn't take the carpets up and I found that was a big mistake really early on. Um, and I was cleaning my carpets three or four times a day. Um, but obviously having a space in your house that's completely puppy proof, nothing on the floor, nothing that the puppy can grab off the tables and just making sure that we're setting our puppies up for success those first couple days that we're bringing the puppy home. Yeah, I think that's super key. Um, puppies by nature and dogs by nature just love to explore and they explore by using their nose and putting their mouth on things and so it's pretty normal for dogs to want to chew on things. That's just their way of exploring. And um, you know, it's gotta be a proactive approach, otherwise you will always be cleaning up accidents or picking up chewed up shoe pieces and all sorts of other stuff. So, you know, given that we got a dog that uh, we've got the house set up, let's talk a little bit about like, what are the types of training that folks should be focused on, especially like in the first six months? like. What should the priorities be from a training perspective? Definitely, so I think that the number one priority and the number one thing to focus on with a puppy um, is socialization. And socialization, I like to say it's a very broad term um, and I try to narrow it down a little bit more. Instead of using the term socialization, I like to think of it as exposure. Mm -hmm. Exposing our puppy to different people, different sights, objects, sounds, smells, different environments, and just making sure that our puppy's having a positive association to all these different experiences. Um, that's really the most important part um, of like a puppy's development, in my opinion, is just making sure they're comfortable um, and excited about the world around them. I really think that's the, the most important part. I would agree of 100%, and especially depending on the age of the dog. If you have a dog that's between seven and, you know, we'll say 16 weeks, um, you know, that period could be adjusted plus or minus a few weeks, but that's a critical time to socialize the dog. And basically things that they are exposed to, both good and bad, will be kind of recorded in their head for many, many years to come. So we wanna make sure that they are having positive experiences. And that's why it's highly encouraged by any responsible dog breeder or rescue to get a puppy into a puppy class for that socialization so that you're not alone in doing it. Um, it's not just about getting them exposed to it, but it's getting them exposed to it and having a positive experience because uh, we've seen it go the opposite way 
um, for people as they're trying to socialize and maybe don't have the, the experience necessary to work through something that their dog might be fearful of, like a vacuum cleaner, that type of thing. Um, after you get you know the dog socialized, what should be the next focus? Definitely, so I think the next focus is kind of something along with socialization. You kind of want to be doing it th this at the same time, um, but it's like housebreaking, um, teaching your dog, I like to say the rules of the house, teaching yep. them what's acceptable to chew on, what's not acceptable to chew on, what's acceptable to climb onto, to jump onto, to explore, and then what's not acceptable inside the house. So that kind of goes along with socialization, um, is teaching the puppy kind of the boundaries and the rules of the house. So I always like to say that that's kind of the next important thing when it, when it comes to like bringing a puppy home and making sure that we're, we're doing the right thing. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, through all of that, potty training is, uh, is also happening. And um, I think that if you're managing the dog well, um, potty training can be very, very simple. Um, so definitely key. So, you know, once the dog gets to, you know, that time period where they've been well socialized, they've been well housebroken, um, what's next? Definitely. So I think after that, the next best step is always obedience training. Mm -hmm. um, teaching your dog obedience. And what I like to say that does for your puppy um, is it creates clarity. It, it teaches them what you want them to do. Um, and then when they've done it, it shows you know, that you're excited about it and it builds a relationship with your puppy. And it's a great way um, to expose your puppy to the world around them using your obedience to make sure that they're not jumping on people they shouldn't be, uh, getting into things that they shouldn't be. Um, obedience is always the next step after we've gotten the socialization the house breaking done next step is always getting our puppies to listen to us a little bit better yeah no that's great i think you know when you have great obedience training it makes life with your dog so much easier and that's really what it is that we're about here at doggy zone like our whole existence is about making dog ownership easier for people um, and obedience training is definitely one of those things and as part of obedience training, I like you know to encourage people to set a goal with your obedience training to get to a place where your dog responds to you without a leash, even if you're not going to go take him hiking off leash. But make that your goal is off leash control because that's what's going to make that obedience functional so that you can actually utilize it on a daily basis. So I think that pretty well sums up getting started with a puppy. I mean, as much as we can cover here in five minutes, but I do want to say thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something great from this and please make sure to post in the comments if you learned something that you didn't know before. Thanks so much and have a great day.